Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to create a project called RFID sensor. So we're going to start off by making a variable called master tag. And after we're done with this, we are going to start our code. We're going to select the port quarky and connect the cable. So when space key is pressed, we're going to stop the other script in the sprite. So we're going to go in a extension, click on AI and ML, and click on the Aquarky IoT house. After that, we're going to click on initialize RFID sensor. The master tag is going to be zero, and we're going to ask that what is the password? After asking that, we are going to go and have a repeat until block. So we're going to repeat until master tag is equal to one. So we are going to say, we are writing on RFID, RFID, please put RFID tag, then we're going to have an if then block. And as you can see, we have wait five seconds for writing hello to RFID. So we're going to click on wait five, two seconds for writing answer to RFID. Then we're going to have a variable set master tag to one. And then we're going to set the last scan tag as master tag and say hello. So now we're saying, we are going to say RFID tag is created. So this whole code initializes the RFID and makes our own tag. And then we're going to have a if else block. So in the else part, we're going to say no tag detected. Please put RFID tag back. And after we're done with this code, we're going to move on to the next part. We're going to click on events and when green flag is clicked, we're going to initialize the RFID and forever block. So forever if then. So we're going to scan RFID tag for two seconds. And we're going to have an other if then else block. And with that, we're going to get scan data from RFID tag one, two, three, four, six, five, four. So this is our answer. And get servo two on zero angle. This is for the door we want to open. So we're going to have servo two for angle. We're going to make it that this is correct. The password is correct. And we're going to wait. 2.5 seconds. And the other part, we're going to close the door. Else, we're going to close the door. And we're going to clear the screen. And in the else part, we're going to make a cross because it, the password is wrong. That's why. Now we're going to play a sound like tone of note B4 with a duration 8 and C A4 with a duration of 8. And now we're going to wait 2.5 seconds. After done with that, let's go see how it will work in practical life. So we have our door, this is our IoT house. There is the RFID sensor in blue. So we're going to click on the space bar. What is the password? So we're going to type our password. Whatever your password is, just type it in. And we're going to, this is our RFID card and we're going to put it right over here. And soon it will be detected. It might take a while, so don't lose your patience. 
And now our FID tag is created. Now what we're going to do, we're going to click on the green flag and we're going to keep it over here. And the door open and it shows a green light because the password is correct. But what if we enter a wrong password? Let's say our password was word, but it's an intruder, we don't know it. So we're going to write on RFID no tag detected. So we're going to detect our tag. And our tag is created. We're going to click on the green flag. And as you can see, it shows a big red sign because the password is wrong and it does not show.